today is another exciting day for me. This happens quite a lot at the moment, but um, it's new guitar day. I've been selling a load of equipment recently that I'm not using, and I've had my eye on one of these. So let's open it up. <sighs> quite nicely packaged. Now, I'll let you guys, as I normally do with this sort of stuff, I'll let you guys see this before I do. Ooh, that looks nice. Wow. It's not fretless, by the way. So what is this? This is an exotic XSC2. Exotic, the same people that make the pedals, make these um, hand-built guitars as well. The thing that I really love, and I saw about this, is if you look at that neck, it's got an amazing flame on it. So the quality of the woods that they use are really good and it's the first time I've uh, I've tried I've tried one of these I bought this blind on the hope that it's uh, that it's it's going to be sort of suitable for me but uh, wow I mean it feels feels great actually and on close inspection it's uh, it's fantastic now really really lightly lightly relict it's got some slight checker marks in it this model is the XSC2. They do an XSC1, which is a single core version. The XSC2 has humbucker and all the pickups are made by Exotic. What do you get in the box? Where well, you get the, uh, obviously the trem arm. It's the traditional sort of strat screwing trem arm. Exotic picks. Uh, specs so it will tell you all of the details about the guitar so it's uh, it tells you about the body what the body's made out of the the neck radius you've got different choices obviously when you order one of these from exotic uh, certificate maintenance tips all that sort of stuff that I'm never ever ever gonna look at it's got nines on it so that's the first thing I need to change so I'm gonna whip all the strings off change it to tens tune it up again and I'll be back in a minute I put some new strings on it. Now, here's a good reason not to buy a guitar off the internet without actually checking it out first. As a whole, it's a fantastic guitar. It's built really, really well. When the guy listed it on eBay, he said it's got a light relic finished and it's as it was, came out the factory. It's got a big chip uh, on the, just above the armrest. Now, you know, I don't mind that sort of stuff. I've got loads of relic guitars and I love beating up guitars, but when something is listed as perfect that really annoys me the fact that you know you feel like you've been a bit sort of ripped off now that's not really a big deal because that would happen at a gig and you know it's a it's just a ding for me if it was my guitar if I actually did this it wouldn't bother me at all but if you buy a guitar and it's listed as showroom condition that annoys me now all of the lacquer checking on this guitar I think is actually done really really well I don't know if you can see it on this light but uh it's got a really nice paint job and I think the guys at Exotic have done a really good job. Here's some of the things that I don't like about this guitar and this is the reason why this guitar, unfortunately, is going to go straight back. I'm going to play the strings individually. I don't know if you can actually hear that on YouTube, but if I play the first fret of the B string, Loads of sustain and loads of resonance. Now, if I play the open string, you get this peak and then it instantly dies, which is really annoying. Now, I've had a guitar before that's had a twisted neck and it's done exactly the same thing. And for that reason, it's gonna go back. Now, before anyone makes a comment on the nut needs filing down or 
the crush rod needs adjusting. I've done all that. So I've checked the nut. The nut is absolutely perfect. And I've checked the truss rod. The, um, the relief on the neck is absolutely perfect for the way that I normally like it. But that to me is a problem that personally I don't want to get into. When you buy a guitar secondhand that costs over £2,000, you don't expect that. And also the guy before bought it from Peach Guitars not long ago. Now Peach do Plec setups on all their guitars. If they didn't notice that before it left, I'm really disappointed with Peach. Now it sounds like I'm just moaning about this guitar and I don't mean to. It's actually a really nice guitar apart from those tiny little problems that may, on, may not be able to be fixed. The locking tuners on these I think are terrible. So they look like vintage tuners, but they're staggered. Um, for this reason, you don't need a string tree. Now there's a reason why you have string trees on guitars and they really sort out the angle uh, from where the headstock is to where the nut is. This could also be enhancing the problem with the B string. In my opinion, when companies come out with these sort of improvements on a Strat design, that's not an improvement to me. I know string trees are ugly, but they're there for a purpose. If you don't play the open B string, it's actually a really nice sounding guitar. It's really resonant and the pickups are a little bit low output. What I'm going to do, I'm just going to play a couple of chords and then I'll go and get my custom shop Strat and you'll hear the difference. Same position on the Strat. This Strat is a much better sounding guitar. So now let's compare the humbucker on the exotic with my Gibson Les Paul. pretty much night and day the difference between the clarity on the exotic guitar compared to well the humbucker on the exotic guitar compared to the Les Paul and the single course compared to a Strat so another reason why this guitar is going back now I'm a little bit disappointed because I had high hopes for this guitar I've really been looking for a humbucker single single coil style guitar for quite some time and unfortunately this doesn't quite do it. So anyway, I really hope you guys got something out of this video. If you did get something out of the video, don't forget to like and subscribe, click on the bell button and you'll be notified of any future video that comes out from the Studio Rats. I'm Paul and I'll see you next time. Cheers.